We've all relied on entertainers like those being honored at the Tonys this Sunday to bring us joy and keep us sane during the pandemic. Well, for more than 140 years, the Actors Fund has been a lifeline to millions working in that business. And not just those on stage or in front of the camera. It also includes people behind the scenes. And that's why the group recently changed its name and henceforth will be known as the Entertainment Community Fund. Vlad Dutier met several familiar faces to find out why the fund is so crucial for the entertainers we all love. If it weren't for the fund, I don't know which direction I would have, I would have wound up. 20 years ago, actor-singer Javier Munoz says his life was upended after an HIV diagnosis. I remember having about three days of shutting down physically and mentally and um, really just not in such shock. And then I just woke up and said, you got to take care of you, right? So what are you going to do? That's when he turned to the Actors Fund for help. It was about getting health insurance about what I could afford and make work. Finding a doctor that could work with that. Needing counseling, someone to talk to about the, the, the side effects and what it feels like. They've been in my corner the entire journey and really allowed me to, to keep my dignity through this whole time. Munoz, who famously took over the iconic role of Alexander Hamilton from Lin-Manuel Miranda, now has a lifelong gratitude to the fun. I am living proof right here that what you do makes such a difference and a commitment to spreading the word. It provides the things you know you need and the things you can't even predict that mm. you will need. It's beautifully said. It comes once a year. There's no way to duck it. Lyricist and composer Amanda Green says she's also forever indebted to the nonprofit after it helped her mother, actress Phyllis Newman, as she battled breast cancer in the 80s. At the time, it was kind of something that it was taboo to talk about. She also saw no safety net for women in the industry, um, and she founded the uh, Women's Health Initiative, the Phyllis Newman Women's Health Initiative. So it's really an incredible arm of the Actors Fund. Why is it important for the folks on the stage, behind the stage, um, to have this resource? It's our lifestyle, right? Even just being able to pay our rent and buy groceries, it is completely attached to our ability to work. This is the most unpredictable industry. <laughs> People rely on the arts and, and uh, they feed your soul, they, they can change minds, they can change lives and hearts, but um, we all need to eat too. <laughs> yes, <exactly. laughs> you know, you know. The organization's new name now reflects all the people it serves. Anyone and everyone in theater, film, television, radio, music, dance, opera, and circus. Tony Award winner Brian Stokes Mitchell has been the chairman of the fund for 18 years. The thing that a lot of people don't understand about, I think, show business is, you know, you think of show business, you think famous actors. And those famous actors are making a gajillion dollars a picture. And that's not the reality. The reality is most people are gig workers going from job to job to job. And a lot of people are just a paycheck away from, from poverty. <laughs> He says the pandemic highlighted the necessity of this lifeline. Since the pandemic has started, we have given away more than $26.8 million to almost 18,000 people now. And one of the things that I realized is when you're feeling terrible, when you're at your worst, help somebody else. That'll get you out of that. A simple gesture can go a long way, like an impromptu duet with a Broadway legend. I'll never forget. True, dear, when, when I'm, I'm close to you, dear, the stars fill the sky. So in love with you am I. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So that song that we sang, it's called So In Love. It's from the musical Kiss Me Kate. I played the lead role in high school. And Brian Stokes Mitchell, there I am in my Petruchio outfit. Look at that. Wow. Outfit. And Brian Stokes Mitchell won his first Tony Award for the very same role. So it's kind of cool to be speaking with a Broadway legend and me being a theater 
geek kid when I was beyond, in high school. Beyond kind of cool. Yeah. yeah it's very cool. Uh, also amazing $28 million for all kinds of people in the industry who need help during the pandemic. And I think the point that he makes is really important, that it's not just the front-facing people that yeah. we see. Without a doubt. It's all the folks that are involved in the craft of creating this art that we know and love. So